Count rows is better than count in DAX formulas in Power BI. Why is that true? Well, let's first take a look at it. Here you can see that I have two measures, customers count and customers count rows. Customers count uses the count function in DAX, which takes the table sales customers and the column cust ID. Customers count rows uses the count rows function in DAX and only takes the table as an argument, not the column. Why is this better? Well, three reasons. Customers count, because it uses the column, it's counting values in the column and it won't count blanks, which means you could get inaccurate results. Count rows only takes the table and counts the rows in the table. That produces more accurate results. In this case, we have 91 unique customer IDs here, and so it's fine, but it could be different. Um, the second reason is the intention is clearer. I am counting the rows, not the column values. So in this case, use count rows. And the third reason is it's actually faster. Now for 91 records, this won't make a difference, but if it were 91 million records, we would see a performance difference. So we should use count rows wherever possible. We'll find a lot of success there. Thanks.